All right, so I'm going to start going live on my, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I am live on my, um, you, my YouTube channel and on my um, Facebook channel. So I'm going to be posting both of these on um, each, both of the, them. So what I'm going to do is I will live stream on my on my Facebook and my YouTube uh, channel. So I'm going to be able to see both of them. So hopefully it works. I'm going to just set it up so I can see just a little bit better in a few minutes. Um, we'll start in five minutes. Make sure you have all of the primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Um, and then we all will also need, um, we will also need white and black. And then if you have any Q-tips, go ahead and grab some Q-tips um, and that should, should help. So I'm going to try to make it so that this looks a little bit better for those people who are going to Facebook channel. Okay, maybe I can do this. Perfect. Okay, so I have both of them going on right now. So if you are joining me via Facebook, YouTube, you um, can do either one. I will be posting them later. So if you don't uh, get to see everything uh, that I'm doing, then uh, you can, then you can, uh, and um, check it out to see what, um, maybe some of the things that you've missed. Um, so I'm going to go back and see how this one is going. Okay. <sighs> this has been a big learning curve for me, definitely. I'm trying to get everything set up so it um, on both sides. Um, I might just go for it and install an app on uh, one of my um, devices in order to stream from both of those. So we'll see. Um, I think that this is the most clear that we're going to get as far as um, being able to see everything. Um, so yeah starting in about five minutes. I just want to make sure everybody uh, is here that wants to be here today. And thank you for painting with me today. I appreciate being here with me, spending some time with me, even though I don't get to see you. Um, but I get to see your paintings at the end, which is so cool to me. Please, at any point, um, post a comment and I will get to those as soon as possible. If you need me to answer anything, I will definitely be able to do that. It might take a minute or two, but I should be able to um, answer those questions. Um, of your canvas, go ahead and set it up for right now. Um, I have my canvas ready. I actually uh, wet the back because it was really, really, um, it wasn't stretched enough, so I wanted to make sure I had had it completely stretched for this painting. Um, I'm going to be going over the basics of how to uh, create just a, a simple cactus, and then we're going to start rearranging the cactus as you would like. Think about what doesn't have to be the color that I choose. Remember, when you're painting with me, you're the artist and nobody is here watching you. Um, so if you make a mistake, it's okay. You can fix your mistake. Um, and if you need any extra help, all you have to do is just take a photograph of it and I will look at it and um, hopefully I can give you some suggestions to change um, your, your composition however you would like. So we're gonna start in about two more minutes, guys. We're using acrylic paint. 
If any of you are using different materials, please just date those materials and then I will talk about them. I had a friend that wants to start painting in watercolor. If that is you feel like you might be interested in doing, um, that would be something that I, I might be posting soon. And you can go ahead and ask um, for advice on that if you'd like. Um, Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to paint your whole uh, canvas, uh, whatever background color you want. Today I'm going to go a really, really light blue um, on this painting that I have right here. I have a light green. So if you want to do something like that, you can. And remember, if you don't like this cactus here, you can put it over here. And if you don't like this cactus here, you can put it over here. Um, so it's up to you on how you want to rearrange these. Um, of this right now you can so that uh, you have an idea of where we're going. Um, but if not, and you're, you're ready to go, um, then we'll go ahead and get started. So take a snapshot if you'd like. And we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so what I would like uh, you to do is take a really big brush, such as a foam brush or just a flat brush, get um, a lot of white and whatever color you want. Maybe you want it to be a, um, maybe you want it to be a uh, light green or a light pink. You can go ahead and grab the paint that you need and then go from there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint the background and then I'm going to go over the basics of a cactus, the cactus that we're doing. So this is a really, really, really light blue. If you want to go a little bit darker, it's your choice. You are the artist. You get to decide whatever you want to do with your painting. The nice thing about the YouTube channel feature is you can go back while I'm talking and you don't have to, you have to wait until the very, very end. So if you want to open up both of the sections, you could do that or both of the sources, you could do that. This is really, really light. I might go a little darker so you can see. If you want to do like a variation where it's really, really dark at the bottom and make it lighter on top. You do that or vice versa. If you want to have your cacti to have, to be in pots, you could do that too. There's lots of different options for you on this. I'm painting kind of sideways today because I want to try to make it so that you can see it as much as possible. Okay, you're using watercolor, Aislinn. Um, what I suggest that you do is you wait for the background. Um, so we'll go over the basic shapes of it. Um, when we are painting in our shape, you'd probably want to use a lot of water. Um, and you also want to use um, a hairdryer for this too. So when you're using, when you're starting to paint it, you're going to get really frustrated because we're going to move on and start on another cactus or whatever. And you're going to get a little frustrated because it's not drying fast enough. So my suggestion is to get a, um, get a, a hair dryer so you can dry it quick, quickly. Okay. So I've painted my whole thing. Becky, you might want to go to my um, my other channel if this is a little bit too pixelated for you. Oh, yeah. Gouache would be good. Just don't water it down. Okay. So now that I have this completely covered, and really, it's a really, really, really light blue. I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm gonna talk about our um, painting. 
um, painting the cactus. You can tell that this is a work working table, can't you, <laughs> with all this stuff. So uh, with the cactus, a lot of the cactus that I painted, it is, it is um, green. So green is yellow and blue together, if you don't know. Um, mostly what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making forms and you don't have to be painting right now. Please don't paint right now. I'm just giving you the basic form. Um, so what we're going to be doing is kind of making a shape. So those of you who are uh, painting in watercolor, what you could do is you could take um, a light color, maybe a light green, make sure you have a lot of water, put it down, and then you can, um, start adding more color to one side or the other to create a value change. Um, so here we go. So we're going to be making a basic shape. Okay, basic shape. Then we're going to add a little bit of white to one side or the other. So this is going to be where the light source is hitting the cactus. So I'm gonna to go to the left side Hmm. Maybe I'll have to go a little bit darker. Maybe I'll turn the light off. So you can see it better. Oh, it is pixelated, isn't it? Okay, so you can go to my other channel if you can't see it as good as um, this one. So uh, well, I'll leave it like this. Um. <clears throat> my uh, Lura Studio page that has a better camera. So, all right, so I'm going, um, I'm adding blue to this side and then I'm bringing it this way, okay? So basically it's just, you're creating a form using light colors on one side and darker colors on the other, okay? Then from there, uh, what we're going to be using is a Q-tip or a toothpick, and um, you're going to create some stipples. Now, for the darker cacti, I suggest that you use white, and for the lighter cacti, I, um, ex I think that you should use something darker. So you can, you can use blue for now, or if you have black, you can do that. So sometimes when this happens, when you're painting on something that is wet, you get this like little hole shape. You might like that, I'm not sure, but uh, you can always go back over it. Or you can use the back of your paintbrush and that looks pretty spiffy and cool. Okay. Is that looking better without the light for you guys? Okay, I'm gonna go to my other channel. I think the, that the light off looks better. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. If you have any questions, please just put it in um, the box on YouTube and then I'll go to my Facebook channel and I will see if I have any questions so far. Probably, oh, I have one comment that I don't see. Oh, yep, you see me on both places. Okay, great. So um, I'm just gonna move on now. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to paint in my into various places, um, meaning I'm going to be painting it so um, that maybe I'll paint this cacti here and maybe a larger cacti here. This one might um, only hold about four. I have five on my larger piece. Um, if you want to change your can, uh, canvas so it goes vertically, 
that might be a cool idea for you to do. So it's your choice what you'd want to do. If you want to make some floating cacti, you could do that. Um, it's your choice. Okay, I'm going to start um, here. Then I'm going to go over here. Yeah, I'm just going to do four today. So I'm going to do a, la a light cacti. Um, this one is going to have four or three flowers on it, on the top of it. And I just have a light, really, really light green on it. Any of you have any suggestions as far as software that you might use going live? I will take those suggestions. I keep messing with um, this idea of adding um, or trying to do um, something live on YouTube and on Facebook. And it's a little bit tricky to find something that's a reasonable price and does what you want it to. Um, so like I did before, I'm going to be adding darker colors on one side and bringing it in this direction. Okay, and then I'm going to be adding lighter colors on the side and bringing it in this direction. When you're uh, using your brush today, you really want to think about the direction. So your cacti is going to be really, really round and it's going to go this way. Okay, that's um, mostly the way that they look. Um, for this cacti, we're also going to be making three spheres that go on the top and we're also going to be making flowers. So I just have a bunch of color in my brush and I'm press pressing down and it's forming those spheres, okay? So that's just the basic. We're gonna go back over this and darken it and light, lighten it in some places. But we're gonna do another uh, cacti. This cacti has, um, it's gonna go up and it's gonna go this way. Now with this one, I'm gonna go a little bit more blue just to create some variation. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and fill it in. Okay, so we're gonna go up and fill it in. Go up, fill it in. Now this kind of looks like an animal right now with big ears. <laughs> we're going to fill that up. Okay, we're gonna go up. Ooh, I want a really blue here. Now, because I want so blue here, I'm gonna go back and fill in some spots. And I'm gonna wait for you after I'm done filling in this cacti. So with this one, I'm gonna make two little ones that go up like that. It's almost throwing a little peace sign up there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there like this. If you have any questions, I'm gonna answer those right now. And we're having a hard time seeing this on here. Gosh, the lighting. Maybe it's just too bright in here. All right, so Maybe you are having trouble viewing um, everything on my my Facebook, my YouTube channel. So I did ask 
some of you to go to my YouTube channel or Facebook channel because it might be a little bit easier to view. And yeah, that camera is so much better. I'm using a, a Chromebook for this. And um, my phone looks like it works so much better than my Chromebook that I'm using. Um, so yeah. Okay. So my Lura Studio page is just a little bit better to view. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little teeny tiny cactus here. And let's make a little one over here. So if you wanna make a larger cactus, that's up to you. Um, but I'm just gonna make two little ones just to create some balance, a little variation. This one's gonna be, maybe I'll make this one about this size and this one a little bit wider just to create some more change. Okay, so here we go. Here's one that's about that size. It's pretty small. And then we have one that is gonna be a little bit wider. All right. This might have a big flower on top of it. I haven't decided yet. All right. Now, the fun part of this is we get to um, create some value changes. Now, with this value change, it's going to start forming into your sphere just a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to use a square flat brush for this. And I'm going to start first with the white. And the white is going to be on the left side of your, um, your cacti. So you want to kind of make it go in a round direction and you want it to make these pretty consistent, okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of the green that I had before And I'm going to do it to the rest of them. So light, white, make it pretty light. I'm going to go underneath. Pretty light on this side. Today is kind of a cold day in Reading. Um, so my paint is not going to dry that fast. So it's going to be easier for me to mix things. Okay. I'm going to make this just a little bit larger on that side. I'm going to make this darker, but I just wanted to go into it. Okay. Light on this side. Light on this side. Light on this side. Light on this side. And then light on this side. So I lay the paint down and then I'm going around. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait a few minutes while you guys catch up. If I'm going too fast, please let me know.
Let's see. Oh yeah, my paint is really light. This time um, I'm just using a lot of white. So I, I like the light. I like it when it's really light in the background for this piece. So yeah. Um, please give me a thumbs up if we're ready to move on. I'm kind of using both. All right. I'll wait a few more minutes for... Um, for the other side, we're going to be using a lot of blue. So um, if you want to get that out, you can do that. And then a lot, we're going to use some black for the stippling. The black is going to be stippling and white. We're also going to make some flowers on these cacti. I'm sorry about the, the cameras, guys. I wish they were a little bit nicer. So maybe that's something that I'll buy myself this week. <laughs> a light, a uh, nice camera that attaches to various places. All right. Okay. So I have one person that said that they're good. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. So here we go. Um, so, oops, I put, I dropped some blue right here. It's okay. I'll get it off. Sometimes when you get, when you put a color down on a canvas, you can kind of wipe it off. And I just did that right there. I don't know if any of you caught that. So what we're going to do is we're going to really add a lot of, darkness to one side to create that value change. We'll do that here. I'm going to go back here um, in a second, but I have a lot of blue on my brush. I want to make sure that I use that blue to start creating those value changes. So like I said, I have, it's really, really wet here. It's cold today. So my paint is not going to dry as fast as it usually does. So it's helping with creating that value change that I've done and that I want to do. So here's the value change. Okay. I have some more blue here. This painting is a little bit, um, more simplified than, let's say, the um, succulent painting that we did. That one was a little bit of a challenge, but a lot of you did such an awesome job. Just so cool to see. Next week, we're going to make an owl, if you're interested in doing that. Hopefully, I will have a better camera. I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog is crying because he wants to come in. I will let him in in a second. So I'm just creating that value change, like I said before, in the initial cacti that we did, or I did in the beginning. Flowers are going to be very simple. I'm just going back and forth. Well, and more of the value change.
So in walked in my little four-year-old is right there. All right. Just making sure that this is set up. Okay. All right. So if you want to make this darker, like a really dark green, you have to let this dry a little bit longer. Now, a lot of the colors that you see right here are very, very pastel-y. So um, if I want to go back and make it darker green, I do have to let it dry just a little bit more. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm, I'm not gonna worry about these, uh, the bases of the cacti right now. I'm gonna start painting the flowers. And when I'm painting the flowers, I'll let this dry. Maybe I'll add more of the green um, later to this. And then um, I'm going to add the stippling, which would be the prickly parts of the cactus. Um, so uh, most cacti have like reds and whites. Um, if you want to, you can add yellow or if you want to add different color. If you want to look up some cacti, you can do that. Um, this cacti that I painted right here, this one, I was trying to make it so that it was more of those um, uh, stringy, stringier flowers. This one is kind of like the, the um, poppies that I painted last week. So, and this one as well, it's kind of like those poppies that I painted. Um, so it's up to you how you want to paint these, but I'll be, um, showing you this one and I'll be showing you this one. Okay. And then, um, you can do some variations and create yours however you want, uh, later. All right. So first one is going to be that pink color. Um, I'm going to go a little bit darker so that you can all see it a little bit better. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the flat end of your brush or you can take a pointy brush if you want to. And you're just going to create lines coming down. Pretty simple. Now this is all just one color. We're going to make uh, this a little bit lighter later when it's dry. Oh, I have some blue on on this. It's kind of pretty. I'm going to leave it. I don't clean my brushes very much, as you can tell. Um, so now this one right here, we're going to um, do a white one. So I'm going to have to clean this brush. So the way I clean my brushes is I kind of go in, hit the bottom, and then I take a surface and wipe it off. All of my chairs have paint on them. Please don't do that to something that you like. Um, so this is my studio. I have like um, garage sale chairs in here. So I can do whatever I want to them. They all have paint on them. All right. So this one right here, this is pretty easy. You're going to make little heart shapes. So this is a heart shape and then I added a little piece to it. Now I'm going to create de a depth with this a little bit later when it dries a little bit more. So here I'm going to do another one. This one's going to be, let's make it bigger. Woo. All right. We'll do this one here. This one is going to be smaller because I don't want to paint it behind this cactus. But if for some reason I go a little bit further, actually, we can make it go in front of the cactus. Let's do that. And it was always meant to be that way. Boop. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. 
Okay, now that I have those, I'm going to be uh, painting another set of flowers on this one. Um, now, you don't have to just go to the ends of your cacti. You can put them off if you'd like to. Um, this one's going to be pretty red, a little toned down red. I'm going to make it violet. Just decided last minute. Okay, this one is going to be more like a cup. So we're going to go cup shape. Do that again. It's just a cup shape. And I'll do that here. I'm going to add different colors to this one as well. I think I want to put some yellow into this. Like the inside of the flowers. I have a pretty cactus in my front yard that buds during the summer. So it's not happening right now, but in the summer it's so pretty. It only opens in the morning though. So if I look at it in the afternoon, I don't get to witness it. But if I look at it in a certain time of day, then I get to see it, which is so cool. All right, so this last one, let's do, let's do a light pink. Just to create balance. And I don't know, do we want to make it big or small? We'll do, maybe we'll make it long. With like just lots of curvy lines. I don't know if this cactus actually exists in life, but it exists today on my canvas. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in, starting with this one and going this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some variation. I'm gonna use my pointy brush for this. And um, you can either go lighter on the flowers that you have, or you can go darker, it's your choice. So I'm just going to go a little bit lighter on this one. Create some variation. And I'm just going to do a few strands of a dark color just to create some more variation. Okay, I feel like that one is pretty much done. Oh, well, I want to make it a little bit curvy up. Curvy up. Okay. This one is going to have red on the inside. So maybe I'll just, you know, I want this one to stay pretty much white and not be able to see, see on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, color to it just to give it uh, the illusion of depth by adding just, just like a tint of another color. Still looks like it's white, but you're just adding another color in front of it. So it gives that, that illusion of depth. And this is light. And I have to add more white to this. I'll do that in a second. Okay. 
that is pretty light. That might, I might have to go over this again later. It's a little bit less wet. So, apologize about that one. Okay, this one right here, I'm going to have yellow on the inside. Now, my yellow is very, very translucent. So my suggestion is to add a little bit of white to it so um, it doesn't um, so it doesn't become translucent so you can see it. Added a little bit of red to it as well. So it's creating those the idea of looking inside the flower. Okay. And because I like having <laughs> this a dirty brush, then I'm, I'm going to go over this one with the yellow, just creating more of that variation. But I'm making this a little bit more round than this one. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blue lines here. Tiggy walked in just a little while ago and he's asleep. Okay. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go back again to darken some of these cacti just a little bit more. And I'm going to be using that round brush. Um, so I'm going to be adding yellow and blue, making those, making it green, just darkening some spots. This one's a little bit too green for me. I wanted this more blue and it's going to go underneath the flower. And then if it's too much, I can add a little bit of white and create some tinting to that. And then go back over, creating that value change. And then, yeah, that's looking a, a lot better. And, oops, I'm going to use my flat brush to kind of move some of the paint to make it have more of a consistent feel. So it kind of looks like it's smooth. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I want this to be more blue. There we go. And blue on this side. And then what I could do is bring this over just a little bit more. And then add my white. I have a lot of different colors going on in my white right now, I guess. In watercolor, if you're using watercolor, it's always best to go really, really light and then keep adding more and more color. Maybe that's why I did it the way I'm doing it right now because this was really light in the beginning. Now I'm darkening everything up. It was this subconscious way to do it, I guess. Okay, so now that has a little bit more depth. 
Hi, Tristan. How are you? I miss you. Tristan just came in. He's one of my students. He is an excellent draftsman. Does really, really well at drawing. Are you painting with us today, Tristan? We'll see. <laughs> He always leaves funny comments on my YouTube channel, too. He's a silly guy. All right. Oh, well, you can draw if you want to. I would love to see you draw, Tristan. All right. So I'm going to wait a few minutes, let you guys catch up. Ooh, I, when I was cleaning my brush, I added some splotches of paint. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave uh, this to dry for just a few minutes. Grab a toothpick or a Q-tip or, or grab a brush that has a fine end to your, fine end, like, um, let me go find one. Pencil if you want to, like the end of a pencil would work perfect. So we're going to start adding um, the stippling. Now the stippling is to create depth, but it's also to give you an idea of how prickly a um, cactus is. So we're going to look at this one right here. So you can see this one that I have right here. It just has a few rows. I don't know if I'm going to do that to the one that I made on here, but I might. But it also has little teeny tiny prickly parts on here as well um, that go up the cacti. This one I did in blue. You can see that this one has a lot of yellow on the side. So if you want to go it back in and make some yellow and then um, add some more green on the side, that could be an option for you. This one looks like it was toothpick almost, but it's not. Um, so yeah, so think about what ones you're gonna be doing in blue or black. You can use black too. And then ones that you're gonna be doing in white. So I have this one and this one in white, but the other ones are not. Or if you want to go out there and just make something totally different, that's up to you. Yep. But Tristan, you don't have to do this. It's just an option. You don't, it's just for fun. So if you don't feel like you want to, you don't have to, okay? I'm not gonna force you to paint with me today. Just for fun. I hope you did your perspective drawing that you were supposed to do this week. I'm just gonna fix this if I see it. All right. Are we ready to move on, you think, everyone? Okay, too bad you started awesome. I can't wait to see what you've done. Okay, so I'm gonna start first with blue and I'm gonna do blue on this one right here. I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm just gonna make my dots. And now it's only gonna take, it's only gonna allow me to do a few dots and I have to go back. So this is called stippling. You can see this form of painting in Aboriginal art. Some beautiful pieces done all in stippling, or a lot of it's done in stippling. Sometimes when um, it goes, it stops having so much paint, it just gives that um, illusion of depth. I'm 
can kind of hear this stippling. anyone using a different color other than blue, black, and white for your stipples? How about dark green? This kind of looks neat. You have a little Bit of the paint showing through in the very, very center. Kind of went off the cacti, but that's fine. So maybe I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see it. You see the stippling? There we go. But that's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. This one I am going to do, I think I want it to be white. Um, and I'm gonna be using something a little bit larger. I'm going to use a toothpick. I mean, not a toothpick, q tip. Um, and I will start. Sometimes the q tips create those little holes in it, but I can go back over that if I don't really like it in the end. So I like to start in the center and then I work my way out. Um, it's really hard to go like left to right or right to left when you're doing this. So I'm gonna go down the center of this one and then I'll go down the center of this one. And I don't really like how large these are so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go to another, like a larger end um, so it's not this tiny, but it's still larger. And I'm going to start stippling these ones and then I'll go in the center. Oops, I got a lot of paint on that one. I'll bring this up to this, the, um, camera in a second. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to move on and I'm going to keep making some stipples on this one. And if you don't like the way that you made your stipples, like I don't really like these that much. Um, I can go back over this, like I can paint, I can paint this whole thing over when it's dry and then it should allow me to make it how I want it to look. I 
Can anyone hear my canvas making a little drumming sound? I hope you're listening to music right now. You should be listening to music. I'm not playing any music because I want you to have your own music playing, whatever you want to listen to. Something, some feel good music out there. And typically when I have a paint night classes, I have um, music going from Radio Paradise. I used to stream out of the City of Paradise before, but they moved before the fire happened in Paradise. Okay, so now that one's done. If I want to go back in and fill in some ones, I can do that. Or if I want to go back in and make it a little bit neater, I could do that too. You're not listening to music. Well, Tristan, you can sing. You can sing our favorite song. Potatoes and what? What is it? Potatoes and what? It's molasses, potatoes and molasses, everyone. I don't know if you can write it down. <laughs> okay, this one I'm going to be uh, doing in blue. Little inside jokes, right? I miss those. I'm really happy you're with us today, Tristan. I really liked seeing your portrait that you did this last week. It was really nice. Wow. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves today. Having a really nice afternoon or night wherever you are. Some of you are on the East Coast, like, like my friend Aislin. She's joining us from Portland, Maine. And then maybe um, Andreas's Aunt Katie is with us today. I'm not really sure. She is from the Island of Man in Peel. Peel in the Island of Man. There we go. We have some people in Montana that are joining us. With my aunt, Linda. We have somebody in Minnesota, my aunt, Carol. Hopefully they're here today. Can't really tell where everybody is today because I don't get to see the screen because I have it flipped over. I don't know. I keep trying new things for this paint night. If you guys have any suggestions, I'll take them. Taking a few of your suggestions by flipping the camera over, getting closer trying new places. Less light, more light. Color changes. Palette of choice. These are all suggestions that I 
taken into consideration and I added into my paint night. Do you want to send me your photographs after or just put them on my uh, Facebook account and just tag me? That would be great. Um, I did have a few students who worked with me last week and they sent me their picture, which was really, really cool. It was a family that did the whole thing. So if that's something that you'd want to do. I would love that. I would love to see what everybody did. And sometimes I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well or or what, but for the most part, everybody's making some beautiful paintings. I'm very proud of you. It's been successful. Oh, I know why that, that my painting is not drying so well. I, I wet the back of it. I just remember that. Okay, and then we can always go back. I'm going to go back um, over the flowers just to have a little bit of fun with them. And then if you want to do anything else to it, it's your choice because you're the artist. You get to choose what you're doing with your piece, how you're creating it. And I will save this Facebook and YouTube video. So if you need to go back, and see how I did something or how I explained something, you could do that. Okay, I'm going to do the white. Um, I'm going to do this one white. I really like using my pencil for this. When it's dry, you're going to feel, you can feel all the bumps and texture to it. It's nice. Whoa, way too much. Look at what I just did. But I'm not freaking out. I'm just move it around a little bit. That was intentional. I meant to do that. Nobody will see that. Do, 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 do. You want to go faster? Do that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in, and I might. You know what? I'm going to use my my Q-tip for this. And I'm going to go back in. Create some fancy lines. Ooh. Look at that. That's cool. I'm just using my Q-tip. Something I just came up with. Look at that. Avant-garde, everyone. Look at that. Okay, as soon as we're done with this painting, I'm going to share my doggy with you. He's sleeping right now, which is really, really cute. He's always sleeping in orange, one of the orange chairs that I have in here. It's his favorite spot. Then sometimes I'll get Rune in here as well. I'm 
is the other doggy. I'm going to add some blue to this. All right. Okay, that sounds good, Tristan. Can't wait to see it. Okay. So like I said, um, you can add more to this or you can be finished with it. It's your choice. Um, I'm going to stick around and I'm going to ask, answer any questions that you have. Um, I'm going to be here for probably the next 15, 20 minutes. Um, I might add more to this a little bit later um, and then post it, but I might just leave it as is. Um, so I'll just, I'll think about it. Um, so I'm going to answer any questions that you might have. If you want to um, go on to my Facebook page. I can answer those. Let's see. I think I can answer questions on here. Oh, I'll just do this. This will be easier. Okay. I don't have any questions. But I can go a little bit closer if we need to. Okay. I think I'm going to order a, a um, dot cam. So if you have any idea of like a really nice dot cam, let me know. I will um, be glad to find something that would work for this. Um, let's see. Go back to my YouTube. <laughs> I don't have a story for you. Sorry. Are you drawing, Tristan? I hope so. Okay, I'm gonna go back over a few more. Okay, cool. Did you do your um, your one point perspective drawing yet, too, Tristan? This is the teacher in me. Sorry, guys. So when you're done with this, okay, great. Wait, did you? Next time I'm not going to wet the back of my canvas because this one took so long to dry. So, you know, I'm learning. We're all learning, right? It's pretty, I like, I like how light this is, even though you can't really tell on your screen. I'll take a photo and put it on my, um, my YouTube, I mean, my Facebook page so you can see it. It's pretty. It's just like really, really light. The other one I made was really, really dark. I did this painting once in a, um, in a at a paint night 
and somebody made theirs really light. So I, I think that's where my mind was when I started out with this. I wanted a light one. Next week, we're going to do an owl face. So if you want to do an owl, come meet me here. Same time, same place. Maybe some of you are just watching and not painting, but you know, it's kind of therapeutic to watch somebody paint. I like to do that. Sometimes I'll just watch my students paint. This one's kind of turning out peachy color. All right, well, um, thank you everyone for spending time with me today. Um, I'm here for you if you need it. Just message me and I will um, get back to you really quick. And um, I can help you with anything that you might be struggling with. This is a pretty simple painting, um, especially when I went over the initial part where you're just going darker on this side, lighter on this side, and blending the two uh, values together and then creating stippling. So pretty easy painting to do. Um, and um, I think we are done for the day. Uh, don't forget to sign it and don't forget to post it and um, you can uh, tag me on it so I can see what you've made. Okay, have a wonderful week and keep painting everyone. Oh, I forgot. I was going to show my little doggy so you can see him. So hold on. Let me click out of these things over here. So a ton of things just popped up and I don't know what they were. And here we go. There's little Tiggy. He's sleeping. All right. Bye, Tristan. If you need anything, let me know. Um, bye, everyone else, too. If you need me, I'm here for you. Let me know. Um, so, yeah, it was great painting.